Hello everybody, John Wild from the Eco Guys, and today we're going to start, we're going to talk about recycling vape cartridges. Okay, these are becoming very, very popular because people do believe that this is healthier than smoking cigarettes. <coughs> I'm um, not too sure. I don't vape, uh, but I get a lot of these uh, through the Eco Guys to scrap to uh, recycle um, and we're starting a vape recycling program people are sending me vapes from everywhere in fact I had one person drop off to me well, let me show you a whole bunch of them so we're going to show you <clears throat> Uh, what's inside these and I guess if you're really good and you know what you're doing you can scrap them yourselves I would uh, advise that you be very careful because there are chemicals in here vape chemicals and there's battery with battery acid and all kinds of funky things inside here uh, so be very careful when you do it and if you're unsure about doing it you can always package these things up put a little box together once the box is full send it to the eco guys and uh, the information to do that's on our website and all that's in the description of this video to get in touch with us so let's see what's in these things okay let's see what now first thing i'm going to do off camera here a little bit now this might surprise you that i'm not using re uh reusable gloves but unfortunately my reusable gloves are reusing someplace else and i do have these as backup but I guarantee you when I'm done using these uh, these gloves, these little plastic gloves, they will not wind up in the trash. They will wind up going back to the grocery store with other plastic bags that I might uh, run into and uh, be recycled. So, yeah. I think I put that on the wrong hand. Is there a right and wrong hand with these things? I don't know. Well, I'm unsure. It just feels kind of funky. I think I, I think I definitely put it on the wrong hand here. Hold on. Put this one on yeah I definitely got this one on the wrong hand so we're gonna, we're gonna flip it around here and uh, eye protection as well it's just a good idea to be safe all right so let's uh, get that glove on okay yeah bend over sir this won't hurt no I'm just kidding all right so we're going to open this up now Vape cartridges are usually pretty easy to open. You just need two pliers to do that with. So we're going to get uh, old Rusty out here. Everyone like says, yeah, these things are so rusty. I love them rusty and dirty. I love handling them with my bare hands and I'm finished. I got rust stains on my hands. Yeah, baby. I love dirt. All right. So then we're going to grab this, uh, the, the handle that goes into your mouth or the piece that goes into your mouth. And we're going to grab that little black piece in the very front of the vape and then we turn and eventually boom the back pops off okay now when the back pops off you drop it now you look inside and there is a little cotton filter eh, there we go all right that's waste it just can't be recycled so that's waste and then the mouthpiece is just a very hard piece of plastic I'm not really certain, but I do believe this is probably um, polyethylene or something, something hard, maybe even a PVC. Okay, and I'll tell you what we're going to, how I recycle these when I'm done uh, late, with, you know, towards the end here. So we're going to put that aside, and we're going to continue fishing out what's on inside there. So we got to try to figure out how to do that. Yes, I've done this before, but we're kind of venturing this together so I don't drop my tools so I'll get my little uh, needle nose and I'll reach in there and I'll push and that should be I imagine we'd be pushing it out the other end it's not doing it this time so what we're going to do is we're going to grab there's a big cotton filter insert and this is folks when you vape yeah there you go this thing is soaked with the vape juice, and that's what it heats it up. And that's what that's what you're putting in here, right there. So that's waste. That goes to the trash. And 
you grab this little filter thing, this little clear plastic. It's a little clear. Sorry, I'm trying to get myself centered on this camera. It's just a clear piece of plastic. Okay. So that goes right here for now. And uh, there's more in there. So you got to reach inside. Now this is where it gets kind of grody. All right. That is, again, part of what is soaked with what you're vaping, and it is really bad. Um, I'm not even going to touch it with these gloves. Uh, we're gonna, it's, it's a cotton filament with uh, soaked in the vape stuff. We're going to just drop that right into the trash over here, unfortunately. Uh, now, I reach in there and, again, grab the next piece. Uh, in this little tube and that is basically a it's got a very very small okay making a lot of noise here very small piece of metal right there that kind of holds it in no big deal another hard piece of plastic we'll set right, right there and uh, here we got to get the battery out so we're going to take this I'm going to grab a hold of the front again and I'm going to pull on the front where that light is I'm going to do that it pulls out the battery now, this is a regular battery. Um, I looked it up, and these are actually batteries that, uh, that uh, heat, heat up the heating filament. That's that little piece of metal right there that goes through it, heats it up, and that's how you vape. But the battery is pretty powerful because it heats it up quickly. So what we're going to simply do is I'm going to take my uh, my little pair of snipper snizzers. Aren't these cute? And I'm going to cut. And you just smell. It smells like this is supposed to be like cherry. I mean, you could just smell the cherry coming out of this thing. It doesn't smell half bad, but it's really bad for you. So I'm going to snip the uh, little wires off. And if you look, there's actually a little... Let me center the camera. Dang it. There's actually a little... Um, board right there so actually I, I'm, I, I'm a crazy guy I'm actually gonna put that small little board because I got hundreds of vapes you get so many of them so it doesn't matter I'm gonna put that little board in with my little boards because you know it's got to be recycled no gold on it so that's all right and then I got these little micro wires look how small these things are let me sit on the camera that's very small you're like oh my god you're not going to are you <gasps> yes these are going to go into a little container and they will be turned in as copper. Hey, I'm crazy. Doesn't matter. And then you got the shell. Sorry, center camera. You got the shell. This is actually, most of them are aluminum. So let's test this. Get my magnet over here. You know, whenever I grab my magnet, it like hooks onto everything else in the world. Look at all this stuff that's coming with it. Absolutely. It's aluminum. Doesn't stick. Now, um, I wanted to test this just to make sure that it is aluminum and not brass or something, because that could be. I mean, you know, stranger things have happened in this world. So what we're going to do, how am I going to do that? Let's see here. Let's do it the easy way. We're going to reach in, grab my utility knife. And we're going to scrapey, scrape, scrape, scrape. Definitely aluminum. That'd be great if these were brass, though, wouldn't it? So basically, here's another one that I did already. See, I was kind of pretending I didn't, you know, that I was exploring it with you, but I've, I've done these before. Uh, and so these are a whole bunch of aluminum tubes, hundreds and hundreds of aluminum tubes. And this should go in this clip, I imagine. Find out one day. But yeah. So basically, this is what we wind up with at the very end. Okay? We wind up with a plastic tube, a battery. Now, the little uh, diode in the beginning and the, the hop there, I just ripped that off. That's that little light diode. Um, there's a, actually a piece of metal behind it, pretty pretty thick little piece of metal. So I'm just going to throw that in tin shred. So we got a battery. Now what am I going to do with the battery? Well, I have a place that I send my whoop, I send my batteries to to recycle them. 
Uh, I'm going to start actually hoarding these myself because I'm very familiar with the uh, process and recycling regular batteries like this and D cell uh, A's and D's and triple A's and all that. Uh, and if you have enough, if you get enough and your operation is big enough, you actually can make some money off of these things. But uh, for right now, until I decide really what I'm going to do about recycling batteries, there's a place that I send my batteries off to to recycle. Uh, and uh, that's where donations to the Eco Guys comes in really handy to help us be able to get these to the right places rather than in a landfill to be recycled. Okay? So your, your, your donations do good, believe me. Uh, here's another battery from the other one that I did. So we're going to put that one right there. They look a little different sometimes. Then we got all this little plastics. What am I going to do with all these little plastics? Well, it's real simple what I'm going to do. Oh, I haven't taken the filter out of that one yet. Look at that. It's still in there. I had to pop that out. But uh, these are actually going to be in a, put in a box. All my small little plastics. My son, we recycle credit cards and stuff. And we have little little remnants left over. All my little plastics go into this big box and it gets shipped out to someone who actually turns all these little plastics into wood product and um, makes park benches, <clears throat> picnic tables, dimensional lumber, fencing, all kinds of stuff with this plastics. So they won't wind up in a landfill and they won't be questionable recycling anywhere right where they're going to go. They're going to be scrapped. They're going to be recycled. And uh, also in this one vape, there was an aluminum foil. And that we can, uh, I, some people say that you can't get these recycled at uh, they, uh, their, your scrapyard, your particular scrapyard. I've heard a lot of people say that they do not accept aluminum foils. Now, aluminum foil can be anything from aluminum foil to these things to medicine wrappers to anything that's aluminum foil. Well, here in Orlando, uh, my scrapyard does take aluminum foil. They don't pay a lot, but you know what? Something is better than nothing, right? So I, I put all the aluminum foil in a big box, crush it down with my foot. As soon as it fills up, it goes with me on one of my trips to the scrapyard. Nothing special, just goes with everything else. When I'm turning in these bad boys, the copper, yeah, I turn everything in. So that's how, that's what's inside a vape. And that's why we need to recycle these rather than throw them away. If you know someone who vapes, if you vape, if you go to a vape store anywhere in the United States, it does, or anywhere in the world actually, and uh, they don't recycle, say, look, I know an organization that will recycle. And these vape stores could be smart. They can say, when you're finished vaping, bring your empty ones back for us to recycle them, please. That drives them, people, back to their store. So it's smart to be to take these. You didn't, when your little box fills up, you just seal it up and you mail it to us and we will recycle them. And we keep these are the main deal right here. We keep these bad batteries out of the landfill and we get them actually recycled. Uh, everything in the inside gets recycled and the outside of the battery. So yeah, it's really, really, really important that we keep things like this out of the landfills. Okay? It really is. So that's what's inside of vape. We just micro scrapped a vape. Wasn't that interesting? I hope uh, I did that nice and slow. I've been accused of going quick on some of my micro scraps, so I did it nice and slow. It was real easily, real easily done. Uh, you can do it yourself if you want to break these things down. But please, if you do that, and you're doing it for the aluminum tube, which again I went kind of slow to show you how it's done, but I could zap through these within minutes. A pop, pop, push, push, boom, boom, boom. Next. Pop, pop, push, push, boom, 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 next. As I'm watching a movie or something, I, I will I'll process these. Um, don't just throw the stuff away, okay? Especially the batteries. If you're going to scrap these things, you need to do the proper thing and recycle these batteries. Now, you can take batteries. Usually, if you, don't, if you can't ship them out, you can uh, send them to us. But basically, we will take any type of battery. So you can send us batteries if you wish. But... Uh, any battery shop usually takes these back. Um, counties and cities have battery recycling programs and drop-off points, so you can call around and find out safe places to put these. Again, it's not really worth it to take one or two batteries in, so what I usually do is, again, I got a little box I put in the back of the closet or in the garage aside, and every time a battery runs out, a double A, a triple A, D, C, whatever, if I'm scrapping vapes and I come in against batteries or any kind of batteries whatsoever, 
I'll throw them in the box. When the box is full, I'll say, okay, next time I'm going down that street where the battery drop-off is, I'll take them with me and drop them all off, you know. You're doing the right thing, which is cool. Uh, me, I, I ship them out to a, a place that, are, that I know that will properly recycle them. And I'm really considering doing my own battery recycling because I know how to do it. And I know that it is very profitable if you do it the right way. Uh, there's um, <clears throat> manganese inside these things. That's a, that's a product. That's worth money. If you, can, if you know how to separate these and you have the right machine, yeah, there's ways of doing it. So until I figure out if I wanna, really want to do that, I ship them to a battery recycler. There it is. Vape pins recycled. On to the next one. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Send me your vape pins. Uh, and not only do we recycle vape pins, let me show you something else here real quick. Oops, sorry. Ooh, that was like a crazy thing. Uh, give me a second. Seeing amongst yourselves. Because I have gloves on and it's going to take me a minute to open up this package. But there's something else too that we take that goes right along the vape. The vaping lines here. There's another type of vape, and I'm trying to fish it out now. Huh. It's like when you see it and you know you want to fish it out, now you can't find it. There it is. Hold on. Now, I will tell you this. Uh, I'm in Orlando, Florida, and you'll be mailing, you'll be, you'll be mailing. You mail things in Orlando, Florida. Now, there's also a vape uh, filter pin like this, okay? And uh, we'll go over this again sometime later, but there's uh, precious metals in this. Uh, a lot of them have stainless steel. A lot of them have brass. Um, then you got your plastic in piece here and glass in the middle. Glass is easily recyclable. And again, we ship these plastic pieces off to, um, to be uh, recycled. So um, that's what we do. If you have small plastics you want to recycle, you can always send it to us. And we'll make sure it gets to the right people to recycle. But yeah, now we live in Orlando, Florida. Now you got to be very careful because some states legalize marijuana, and they are marijuana vape pens. Um, it's a very dicey situation trying to mail me a, a an old pen that had marijuana in it because there could be still traces of it in there. Uh, I suggest that you look, if you're in a, an area that has legalized marijuana and you have marijuana pens like this, look for a local company in your area that might take these back and recycle them. If not, uh, you can still uh, get, you know, right now I want to put a, a halt on anyone sending us marijuana things. They're very similar to this. Some of them are the vape pens. Uh, until I can check it out to see the legalities on that. But So I'll just hold on to them for now and I'll let you know uh, soon. But I, I believe uh, the discussions that I've already had, as long as it's empty and it's used and it's being shipped here for the purpose of recycling it, and of course we can prove that, that's not a problem, uh, then it'll be okay, but I wouldn't double check on that. But if it's just regular vape oil, vape pens, filter things like this too, well, please send them to us. Let's keep this out of the landfill, okay? Alrighty, well, I appreciate you joining me on this scrapping, uh, this micro scrapping uh, venture, and I will see you again soon, I hope. This is John Wild for the Eagle Guys. Take care. Yes, I will recycle these gloves. Don't worry about that. Yeah.